This morning in our Beef Today report, drought in the southwest and southern plains is forcing cattle to the sale barn. That's according to one of the largest stockyards in the country. The Oklahoma National Stockyard says it sold 13,000 head of cattle this week. That's 50% higher than what it normally sees this time of year. Stockyard leadership says what's causing the surge is the ongoing drought. Cattlemen are having trouble buying hay and feed to keep cows at home. So far this year, beef cow slaughter in drought states has increased nearly 12%. In, much, in a much different situation in Tennessee, beef cattle farming is big business. Researchers at UT are looking for the best forage for cattle so ranchers can produce high quality beef. In this report provided by the UT Institute of Agriculture, Chuck Denny says the goal is to grow quality hay in the hot, dry month of summer. There was a time in cattle farming when you just turned animals loose to eat whatever was green and growing in a field. Today, a good beef producer knows better than that. The predominant forage for most cattle in our state is Kentucky 31 fescue. In this era of quality grass-fed beef, nutrition is key in forage production, and not just in the mild weather months. To get the nutrition that the cattle need and get uh, uh, maximum production from the herd, yeah, we need good nutrition there all year long. Barry Sims helps lead a forage project at UT's Highland Rim Ag Research Center in Robertson County. They're growing two fields side by side one in Indian grass and big blue stem grass, and the other in switch grass. Both are excellent forages for cattle. There's a perennial plant, a, a massive root system down in the soil, so it's like it's booster rockets under it to, to make it grow fast. So it's a fast growing uh, plant. UT Ag researchers want forages that are high yielding, but also heat and drought tolerant. But the reality is what you are, you're a grass farmer, and the way you're selling that grass is through that animal. UT's Dr. Pat Kaiser says cool season grasses like the Kentucky 31 fescue go dormant as the days get hotter. But the blue stem and switch grass can be grown during summer's roughest patches. Not only that, but these warm season grasses are high in nutritional value. And producers want to feed good hay to hungry cattle for maintaining animal performance and weight gain. That we're seeing gains on blue stem of two to two and a half pounds a day during hot, dry summer conditions on steers. And a comparable number for steers on switchgrass is about 1.8 to two pounds a day. By comparison, it's less than one pound a day for fescue during that time of year. This study will go on at least two more years, but researchers believe these fields already prove that on a hot, dry day, you can still grow excellent forage. This is Chuck Denny reporting. Thanks, Chuck. You can get many more updates on the beef industry, including market and production information from our partners at beeftoday.com.